You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. Festival season is upon us, and one of my consistent favorites is the Latin Festival. Coincidentally, we happen to have DJ Mangu, Life of the Party. What a coincidence. Yeah, I mean, how did you get here? <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm happy to be here, Michelle. Well, good. Can you tell us what's going on at this year's Latin Fest? Well, this year we have something special, not just for our Latin people, for our Latin community, but also for all the people that enjoy Latin music, live Latin music. It's going to be June 24th and 25th, Friday and Saturday. We have an incredible lineup, and I mean incredible. Probably one of the best years we've had. It's number 15. Uh -oh. And uh, we're expecting a, a, a great mass of, of Hispanics and, and people that enjoy our music out there. That'll be sweet. Yeah. So anything special going on for the 15th year to celebrate? Yes. We, uh, I say we, uh, and I, I want to mention there's a whole bunch of people in there, you know. Dave Bowling, Andy Handling, Mr. Tony. I mean, it's a group of people that put this event together. It takes a long time. And this year, they wanted to do something different. They wanted to include other cultures, other type of music in there, other genres. And they, they did a great job. We have a great band from Panama, uh, Los Ravanes. This is rock. This is, this is great. This is, like, perfect. And it's great for the beach also. Uh, Los Ravanes is going to be there. We have another great band from... Uh, from Mexico, her name is Diana Reyes. She's one of the greatest, one of the top uh, Mexican singers out there. We also have a band from Brazil. We're including some Brazilian music into this. Batuque, they're great also. They're gonna be playing earlier in the day. We have Bachata, we cannot have a year without Bachata. I know you love to dance Bachata, Michelle. Absolutely. We're gonna have some Bachata, El Chaval de la Bachata. He's a great artist. He's gonna close out on Saturday. We also have Plena Libre, which is more like a salsa plena, uh, uh, basically the salsa from the roots of Puerto Rico. This, this is great. This is going to be a great year. And we're just looking forward to see other cultures out there, basically all Hispanics out there representing their country and enjoying this event this year. So with all this new stuff going on, what are some of the staples, some of the things that uh, we're all familiar with that are still going to be going on? Definitely the excitement, the energy that we live through this festival year through year, the food. Yeah. The food is always great. This year, not only you can get that unhealthy, but very delicious mm -hmm. fried food, fried Latin food. My favorite. <laughs> but we're going to have also something special. We're going to have some people carving the fruits, you know, this healthy, delicious stuff also that looks good. It's like art, you know what I mean? How yeah. they, they decorate these mangoes and pineapples and it's going to be great. I think it's going to be uh, very diverse this year, not only in the music, but also in the food and, and with all the events we're going to have. Also, we're going to have a market this year, the Latin market. It's going to be the Latin Village, which is going to be on 24th Street, right where the park where we started the festival at. And that's going to be going all day. So people can be there all day, not just enjoying the music on the sand, but also in the park, they're going to have all these shops and all these crafts. It's going to be, this year, it's going to definitely blow it out the park. That's sweet. And are you still going to have the Zumba Marathon? Zumba Marathon, of course, on Saturday. I can only do about 10 minutes of it. <laughs> but I'm sure you can hang in there. I'm sure you can hang in there. It looks great. I mean, we have thousands of people, uh, many, many, many men and women out there with their workout clothes just mm -hmm. kicking the Zumba for hours. And it's just fun to, to watch, honestly. Yeah. I, I enjoy watching it. You know, I, I can try maybe to put in a couple minutes in there, but it's... It's a little complicated. You gotta have the experience, you know. Hey, just hop in every time they're taking a picture. It looks like you were there the exactly. whole time. Exactly. Put some water on you and get that sweat going. <laughs> I love it. We got a plan. This is good. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're working. We're gonna this. do this. <laughs> that way we still got energy to dance to everybody at night. Exactly. Yeah, the Zumba is just the beginning of Saturday. That takes you all the way to 12 o'clock at noon when the show starts kicking in. And it's just, it's basically an all day event Friday and Saturday. Friday starts at five. Oh my goodness. There's so much to do though. So are we still at BeachStreetUSA.com so we can yes. get all of the info, make sure yes. we show up for everything we want to see. Exactly. Also the, the poster and the lineup is also on our website, selecta1050.com. Absolutely. And yeah, all the information is there also on Facebook. You can find us, selecta1050.com and, and get all the info for the artists. That way you pick which ones you want. But I'm going to tell you something. 
You'll find your favorite artist and you'll want to be there for that time. I suggest to go there all day because it's worth it. It's definitely yeah. worth it to be there all day. See, you know you want to go. Check out Beachtree USA or Selecta for all the info. And for Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger.